Hi all, Cynthia here back doing another process video. So it's been a little while, I was away on holidays for about a month, um, first off with some family and then for four days with some friends and now I'm finally getting back into it. So this video is quite exciting for me. It is the first page that I'm doing with my new kit from the Wild Hair Kit Club. And I don't know whether you heard, but I have been chosen to be on the design team for the next 12 months. So I'm super excited to get started with my first kit. I did do a unboxing video and if you didn't see that I'll make sure the link is below and possibly in a little card right above around about now but if that's not there it would certainly be in the link below so with the kit uh, with the kits the idea the way they work is that each month you fill in your personalized personalized style profile and based on that information, the ladies over there will curate a kit especially for you. So for this month, I said that I would be scrapping a lot of travel themed photos and holiday photos as that's where I've just come back from. So yay for me, my whole kit was based around travel and um, I'm so looking forward to getting into using it. During the unboxing video, I saw these... Uh, not thick as puffy words, stickers, I guess they are called from American Craft. And I knew straight away that I wanted to back the word go with something. I initially printed the plain photo out quite big. Uh, when I say big, it was just a four by six photo and thought that I would make the photo of us girls on the plane a little bit smaller and sort of sit it on the um, white space of the photo. But once I put it down on the page, I realized it was gonna be way too big. So I threw that aside and reprinted the photo. And then when I grabbed the word go, I thought, oh, that will probably look quite good back to, with the clouds of that photo. So you saw me do exactly that. Now I've grabbed some white cardstock and am going to back or mount both of my photos on white and then I'm going to grab this photo of us girls and mount it on this absolutely gorgeous paper. It's from the um, Jen Hatfield's Patio Party. It's a bit of a mouthful um, collection and I think it's absolutely gorgeous. I've decided that what I'm going to try to do is, as this traveller's notebook, which I created, so I just got some um, standard printer paper and sewed it together on the sewing machine, and I'm going to make this whole notebook about the girl's trip away that we had. And I'm going to try to put that floral paper, I'm going to fussy cut it out and use it on each page. So there's that... Um, continuity between the pages. Put out that six by six paper pad, uh, piece of paper there that come in the kit and oh my god do I love that collection. Um, uh, as soon as I received the kit and then I, oh, so, sorry, as soon as I received that piece of paper in the kit I sort of went and had a hunt around to see what collection it come from and it's a pink fresh studio sweet and simple or simple and sweet and I love the collection and I have asked for a little bit more so stay tuned for next month maybe maybe well we'll have to wait and see um, so I've just cut a couple of little strips there and then I'm going to grab some of the washi tape that also come in the kit so it's from Heidi Swap and it is it says something like good vibes good times or good times good vibes and I've just put a little piece underneath that strip of the tickets and that's where I'm planning on putting a, a cluster there so I'm going to use that as the, the uh, foundation piece to build my cluster on top of. So the florals that I cut out, I'm just going to put a couple down on this side and then I'm going to try to fill in the gap between those two bits of florals. I initially thought I'd put that other ticket there, but that didn't quite work. So I'm going to pull up the bit of washi tape that I put down because the wording didn't quite say what I 
wanted it to say. And I'm going to pull off exactly good times, I think that piece says. Pulling out this chipboard set that has come with the kit as well. And I love this. It's, I don't get too much chipboard normally. Um, it's just not something we can buy here easily. Um, occasionally we'll see a little bit on sale, but not often do we see it. So I was so excited when I received it in my kit. And I pulled off this camera. I'm going to peel off a few layers on the back so it's not quite as thick. And it comes off really easy, so I'm happy with that. Decided that this side of the page was going to look a little bit plain and I wanted to add this really bright pop over this side so I grabbed out the paint and just scraped some down there it's a little bit too bright so I'm going to go over top with a little bit of white gesso which just tones it down a little bit and looks perfect now so I'm really happy with the way that's come out uh, camera cut out a little bit there and you see that I have laid down a little bit of my embellishment so I've laid down that camera which I'm just now tucking some more florals underneath I also put off that little plain chipboard piece there and I stuck that down um, I've also grabbed a little puffy um, geotag put there and then up in the top corner I've grabbed a it's also from a pink fresh collection um, it's some um, what are they called there are uh, material type of tags I, I'll be more prepared next time and I'll come with what that is actually called and uh, also put another little black um, puffy sticker up there just to bring that pop of black up to the top you can see on the left hand page I've glued the go down and on top of that I've just put the puffy sticker there that says here we go Printed out my journaling on some paper and cut it into thin strips and I'm just going to stick those below the photo there and that pretty much finishes the page. I come back and put another couple of little things on but not too much. I also don't put a date on the bottom of this picture as well or this page only because as I said I'm going to go back, I'm going to use this whole album as um, to document this girl's trip away and I'll go back to that first page you saw um, at some point and just put on there where we went the date range we went and who went so all the details will be captured on the first page grabbing another geotag here just want to bring in that glittery element which is on the camera as well and that does finish the page off i hope you enjoyed this process if you did give me a thumbs up leave a comment make sure you go over and check out all the other ladies on the wild hair kit club and i'll link all the details below once again thanks for watching and i will catch you on the next video until then everyone have a lovely day a lovely week and a lovely month talk to you next time bye